Hi, I'm Rich again here at New Life Scientific, and I just got through with this uh, Microfluidics uh, 110L. I just want to kind of go over how it works and a couple things that we did to it. Um, well, we got it in and it was actually missing a couple components, and one of them was the cooling coil and some of the collars and um, nuts that hold the lines in. And uh, also, I think when we got it, um, we did have to um, soak and unplug the mixing chamber too. So we went through and flushed it, got it running really good, um, put the new cooling coil on and ran it. Everything's running good. So um, it's not a whole lot that you can see right now. Um, we're going to turn it on and just be um, just circulating the, the water that we've got in it now. We've just got regular water in it. Uh, I also want to pull a, a point out also that this actually has a uh, a valve where you can pull to drain it here and you can push it um, you can pull it and push it and what it does is it when you push it you can just sit, sit there and recirculate it and really homogenize your fluids really well and then you can just pull it to drain it here and I've got it draining into a bucket down here but just um, something that was really nice that a lot of the microfluidics don't have and uh, we just wanted to point that out but I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually take some temperature readings. Um, you got the fluid coming in here from the pump and then going into the mixing chamber and out this end, but once it goes through here, it, it uh, has a, a, a lot of friction from the pressure. So I'm gonna measure the temperature here just to show you the, you know, the temperature rise on this end and showing you why you need the cooling coil. And if you were to run this at long term, you'd need a chiller or just some um, cool water running through it continuously just to keep it cool. But we're going to turn the valve on and uh, we're going to get some temperature readings here. And you can just see how the temperature is climbing there. almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit there. And then we can come over on our cooling coil at this, at this end here where it's coming out. You can tell it's only 90 degrees there, so it's definitely cooling it as it goes through the cooling coil. So that's why you need that cooling coil whenever you're actually running fluidics. And I don't have very high pressure right now. Um, I've just got our shop air running into it. So to get uh, pumping faster, it would need a little more volume of air. But just to be able to hook it up and demonstrate it worked out good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just flush it. Um, I can turn this on because I want to point out how we've primed this um, with our syringe over there. So I'm going to go ahead and just pump, pump out, turn it back on. And now it's just going to empty the reservoir out. And once it's empty, you can tell because the pump speeds up really fast. Just about empty. There it is. I don't want to run it too long with uh, no fluids in it because if the seals get dry, it'll destroy the seals in the pump. So just remember that. You always need to prime it. So right now I've drained this reservoir here. And they actually sell different reservoirs um, for different sizes and different things. But what I have did is I've just got a syringe here um, that I've plugged into a fitting that will just fit right on here. And so what I do is I, um, I just pull some of my fluids into the syringe and I plug it in and then clamp it on here.
and then I'm going to push the fluids in. Now, I didn't, I don't have actually any fluids in it, but um, actually I might as well. I'm just going to suck some fluid out of here, just water. And get a good amount of fluid coming in here. So I'm going to just put it in here and push it in. And now I want to leave this open because I'll be able to see it dribble out just a little bit after a while. Just a tiny bit will come out, but it's such, such a small channel to get through. There we go, we got a little bit coming out. I can just turn that back on again. You can see it'll just pull it right out of the syringe now too. It'll pull the syringe down. But there you have it. Um, unit works good. Like I said, um, a little more air pressure would definitely um, give a little more power. Right now I've got, like I said, our small shop line here run hooked to it um, just to give a demonstration. But you're going to get the syringe with it and you can, um, like I said, make sure you always prime the unit with, with your fluids first and make sure it's in there and then turn the pump on. Once it's going, you can push the lever and then cycle it and then you can homogenize as much as you want with that mixing chamber. Um, but uh, I think that's it. You're going to get the you know, the, the red hose back here. You'll just have to um, plug the air in. Um, and then again, you can hook a chiller or fresh water to keep it cool. But that's, uh, that's it for this video, and thank you for watching.